Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how I made this multifunctional controller for my computer. So let's begin. In this controller I used the RP2040-0 from WebShare, a mini version of the original Raspberry Pi Pico. The reasons for choosing this MCU board are, it is cheap, very small in size and it has a USB Type-C port. The programming language I used is Circuit Python, as it has comprehensive and easy to use USB support. This means it can be used as heat devices like a mouse, keyboard and so on to control our computer. So now let's see all its functions. First, I have to connect it to the computer. The vibration motor will run twice and show an animation. After that, it is ready to be used. So there are three modes here. The first and default mode is volume control mode. The second is horizontal scroll mode. And the third is brightness control mode. Now it is in the default mode, which means if I rotate the knob, the volume level will change. With every detent of the rotary encoder, the red dot moves along with the direction of the knob and the vibration motor gives haptic feedback as well. Now if I press the knob, the light will glow twice and enter the second mode. By rotating it, I can scroll through menus and see the timeline in editing software. Again, by pressing it, it will enter the third mode and I can change the brightness level like this. Interestingly, if I don't do anything, the red dot will disappear and different patterns of animation will run after a few seconds. Not only that, but I can also toggle the animation on and off with a simple long press. So these are all its fusers. First of all, the following items are used to make this project. I made the necessary parts and now it is time to assemble them all.
okay after all it needs to be programmed so i have to connect the device to my pc by pressing the boot button here a new drive will show up by default the rp2040 has a pre-installed uf2 bootloader this is the circuit python.uf2 file simply drag and drop it onto this drive after a few seconds circuit python will be installed on this board then i copied and pasted all the necessary libraries from the adapt with libraries folder to this folder After that, I replaced the default code.py file with my own, in which I wrote the entire program. Now the controller is ready to be used. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.